sitting down with Coach Caleb Nobles in advance of the road game. Another one, a nice shorter trip this time over to Tallahassee, Florida to take on Florida A&M. And, Coach, this, this is a big game. Lots of people are talking about this one. Lots of people are anxious to see this matchup. Yeah, no, a lot of people have been talking about it for a long time. We've been telling everybody, everybody outside of our building has been talking about it probably since January, but we just been worried about us and worried about the next opponent. And now we get a chance to play them as the next opponent. They're a good team. We're excited about the opportunity to go over and play them. I think this is the shortest road trip this program has ever taken, so it's nice to have that. Just a quick three-hour trip over to Tallahassee. You can do it faster, but you know, yeah, speed absolutely. limits and yeah, all that stuff. Of course. You guys will go over on Friday, and kind of what's the schedule look like with a road trip like this? Yeah, we'll leave on Friday. We'll get over there kind of early in the uh, evening, uh, be able to do some meetings, do some treatment, uh, do some team meeting stuff, uh, just so the guys can kind of get over there and get a good night's rest, kind of eliminate distractions. And then during the morning, you got a lot of time off. Uh, so wake up, eat breakfast, do a pregame or do a, a walkthrough type deal, stretch, uh, and then give them a little while off. A lot of guys will go take a nap, watch college football. Uh, and then once you get down to pregame meal, it's go time. We're ready to roll, hit the stadium about 3.30 and then uh, rolling from there. A big day for them. They'll be you know, dedicating the field to Ken Riley, NFL Hall of Famer. And it's their first home game, so you know the atmosphere is going to be crazy. You've been pumping in sound. I came to practice one day. you got the band playing, you know, kind of simulating what you're going to hear. It's different. Uh, you know, that swack environment is just a different thing. Of course. No, it's going to be loud. And Coach Dickerson did a great job. He's chosen a lot of the songs this week, trying to, you know, pay some homage to some of the bands from the swack and have some of that play. And we know it's going to be a loud atmosphere. We know it'll be louder than, uh, you know, what we've played in so far. So our guys are excited about it. And we're getting ready to attack it in, in the face. We're two weeks in, 2-0, and oh, everything good so far. But battling a couple of injuries this week. And so you're going to be missing some key guys. Yeah, no, for sure. And, and that means it's a great opportunity for other guys to step up and play at a high level. And, uh, excited about the opportunities for some guys and uh, just ready to roll and see how those, how those guys handle their opportunities. This is where building that depth comes in handy. What are you looking to do offensively against this Florida A&M defense? What are you looking to attack? Yeah, I mean, yeah, they're, they're aggressive defense. We know they're going to, they got a lot of team speed on all parts of the game. Uh, and so just being able to, to do what we do, attack them offensively, trying to run the ball and trying to establish a run early, um, being able to push the ball downfield while also creating efficiency in the pass game is really the name of our offense, no matter what. And so, just, uh, you know, got to do what we got to do to, to go win a ball game. Other side of the ball, Coach Connor and his crew, what are they going to look to do to try to you know take away potentially from the Raptors? Yeah, I mean, having a great quarterback like uh, Jeremy Musa is a, is a great player and being able to, you know, go against him, obviously test your secondary and uh, try to create some chaos like our D-line's done up front and be able to get after the quarterback a little bit uh, obviously helps and kind of make sure he knows he's not going to be comfortable on the spot. So our guys are excited and, and ready to go for that opportunity. You guys were getting all over the quarterback McKendry last week. They, I think, had five sacks or six sacks against they South did. Florida. Mm -hmm. Protecting Pee Wee's got to be of part course. of that game plan. Yep, of course. No, that's obviously a, a paramount thing for every every week we go into is quarterback protection. And we know we got to we got to be sure up everything and make sure we're ready to go because they got a really good D line, probably the best D line we've played in a long time here at UWF. Uh, so just excited about uh, the chance for some of those other linemen to really show up and, and show out. This is a question I'm sure you've been asked a couple of times this week. I've been asked a ton of times that people will say, well, what's the difference? What's the biggest difference between D1 and D2? You were at Clemson. You were here before and now back here. From your perspective, what is that difference? Yeah, I mean, I, to me, it's good football on all levels. Uh, there's great players on all levels. Obviously, you got more guys on scholarships on the uh, higher levels. So you got you know a little bit more depth guys. But, you know, there, there's good players everywhere. Uh, and our guys know that they're excited for the challenge. And, uh, you know, ready to ready to roll, but you know there is a difference, and so our guys got to be able to attack that a little bit and, and not worry about that during the game. Sometimes it's that size on the line a little bit, but uh, this looks like a pretty good matchup as far as that's concerned. And uh, you know, the, the big thing that you go into a game like this, a lot of fans don't realize is this is big matchup. They want to talk about it. Really doesn't impact us other than a win or loss that week as far as D two is concerned. Mm -hmm. Of course, no, and we don't want our guys to even think about it. We we trying to go win. We yeah, trying to do whatever we're supposed to do. That's all that matters. And and. Uh, our guys know that, you know, it's a journey and we're on a journey and uh, we're in, we're in prime time phase right now and ready to, to go get after it. And so we know that we got to do our best and play our best and, and worry about everything else as the, as the chips may fall later down the line. I know a lot of fans from all over the state, from Pensacola and into, into Georgia and over to Jacksonville, Tampa. Everybody's wanting to come up to this one. So we look forward to seeing you there this week and uh, kick off on Saturday, five o'clock Pensacola time, six o'clock, of course, over in Tallahassee. Coach, good luck this Perfect. week. Perfect. Appreciate it. Go, go Argos. Argos.